Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 186 of our trek and yesterday we explored how success is achieved by giving to others. Today we will learn the 10 habits to create a better day. If you miss any of the days of the Wisdom Trek episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read our daily journal. We are recording our podcast from our studio at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. I had a steady day of work today and still much to do, but I will take it one day at a time for that's all we can do. I have so many plans going into 2016 and would like to dedicate some time for planning, so I have to block it out in my busy schedule. It has been a rainy and cool week here in Marietta, but I am thankful for a work environment where I can enjoy it without having to be out in it. So let's get started today as we continue our trek. Whether we are on an actual hike or just hiking through each day of life, there are some days that are just so difficult. On those days, it seems like we're trudging up a steep slope that is strewn with loose rocks and limbs where it is difficult to make any type of progress. Each of us has those days occasionally, but we do want to keep them to as few as possible. How can we overcome the potential of having those bad days? On our check for today, I will share 10 habits that will help you to create a better day today and every day. So let's get started on our hike for today. As we look at the 10 habits to create a better day every day. Habit number one, wake up 30 minutes earlier. Get up 30 minutes before your usual time and take the first half hour just for yourself. Once you get busy and into the day, it never seems like we have enough time for ourselves. Take this time to plan and get the most from your day. Start by making this habit each day and preserve this time only for you. During this season of my life, I get up at 5.30 each morning so that I can get dressed and ready to exercise by 5.45. I then spend about 70 minutes exercising, most of which is running on a treadmill. Habit number two, read, listen, or watch something uplifting. Make this a daily habit. Get out of the habit of starting your day with no mental food. A great day does not begin with negative news or reading information that brings you down. It begins with ideas and energy that will propel you through the day. What you hear first will stay with you throughout the entire day. For me, during my time of exercise, I listen to encouraging podcasts, I listen to meditations and scripture readings. This helps me significantly in setting my mind in the proper thought pattern early in the day. One of the things you might try is to each morning listen to the Wisdom Trek podcast. Habit number three, eat a good breakfast to start off right. Get something good in your body to wake it up and to get going. Think about the energy that you'll need to perform. Every day we run a marathon, it's not a sprint. What would you need to eat or drink to win during the day? For me, after a shower, I usually have a breakfast of a protein drink, some carrots, water, and then some coffee. And if you do exercise in the morning, it's important for your breakfast to contain protein to rebuild the muscles that you tear down during exercising and stay away from excessive carbs for breakfast as they will be detrimental to your energy level throughout the entire day. Habit number four, choose your winning attitude. There are enough negative issues in the world to go wrong without sabotaging yourself. Your attitude is the choice that you make. Don't let it come between you and your success. Be careful to keep it positive all day long. The choice is truly yours. Habit number five, be aware of what others are telling you. The people around us have a profound effect on how we get on throughout each day. Our closest friends and families are our greatest environmental influences. Make sure that you keep around you the best advisors that you can find. Also, be aware of your negative self-talk. What you talk about in your head is how your life turns out. Remember that you are a child of the King. Be humble and be thankful. No one can ever take your place. You are unique. You're one in seven billion. Habit number six. Make the most of what you do. When you get to work or your other scheduled activities for the day, make it the best place to be. Most people go to work and never even think about work while they're there. Focus on your contribution to the day. What would it be like if you were not around? Strive to give 100% every day. Habit number seven, always remember that people are listening. Make a point of talking well of others. Wish others the best in life and really mean it. What goes around does come around. Don't talk negative about anyone. Try to understand their circumstances. You never really know what others are going through. Practice being a support system for your friends, your family, and all that you associate with throughout the day. They definitely need you. Habit number eight, be honest and fair to others. It does make a difference. What you give to others is usually what you can get from others. 
Practice integrity that people can see and feel. Be aware of what you say. Learn to walk your talk at all times. The more people trust you, the more of their time they will trust to be with you. Habit number nine, pace your energy to last all day. Be careful of the burst of energies. Pace your energy throughout the day. If you get all crazy early in the day, you will reach a point of exhaustion before the day is over. By planning your entire day before you begin, you will have what you need to get through the day. I can still hear my dad telling us as boys, look alive at many times as we were not working as much as we should have. Also, make sure that you are eating properly for all meals during the day. Stay away from processed foods, eat whole foods, and foods that are good for you. It will have a big impact on how much energy that you have. And then our final habit, number 10. Get to bed early and also study for the future. Strive to learn something new each day and write it in a journal or notepad before going to bed. In today's fast-changing technology and work environment, we need to constantly study just to keep up. Develop a habit of reading a work or personal development book before you go to sleep. Reading only 30 minutes a day is like a year at college at the end of the year. You can't succeed in life if you don't read and study. Remember throughout your day that life is what you make it, day by day. Getting to bed on time and getting the sleep that I need is still a work in process for me, even after all these years. There is always so much that I'd like to do, so I have to realize that more sleep will make me more productive during the day. From the time that you wake up until the time you go to sleep, practice creating the best day ever by making deliberate choices. As you string together these better days, it will add up to a rich and satisfying life that we all desire. Remember that God has made each day for us. It is our choice on how we will live it. Psalms 118 verse 24 tells us, This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You see in this verse, this is a choice that has to be deliberately made. The 10 habits to create a better day every day can be implemented by everyone. I challenge you to begin tomorrow to put these habits into practice and then make a commitment to string them together 30 days in a row. At the end of one month, you'll be well established on a trail to a rich and satisfying life every day. Also on each of those days, take the opportunity to share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends and encourage them to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek creating a legacy, and we will discover the six building blocks for self-esteem. That will finish our podcast for today. Remember to listen to your daily dose of wisdom at wisdom-trek.com, or you can subscribe at iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, or any of the other social media platforms. And please rate and review us so that we'll be able to gain additional listeners to join us. And as always, please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person so that they can come along with us each day. If you'd like to be added to our weekly email update and special publications from Wisdom Trek, just text the word WISDOM to 44222 on your phone and you'll receive a message asking you for your email address. It's very quick and easy to do, and we promise not to bombard you with email. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I do consider you my friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.